Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present Pyramid Vision Transformer, a, uh, a versatile backbone for dense predictions without convolutions by Wayne High and Hope in 2021. So the architecture was inspired from CNN um, models um, in terms of the reduction of feature maps after each you know, convolution layer. And it was also uh, built on the original Vision Transformer paper in terms of using only encoders or transformer uh, encoders and um, the output of each encoder will be the, actually will be the input of the uh, successive um, encoder layer. So the proposed ar architecture includes vision transformer encoders, i.e. pyramidal dispositions of the encoders inspired from the CNN architecture in terms of the uh, progressive reduction of the input size of each encoder. And the authors included also spatial reduction attention module, uh, which, is, which was introduced to reduce the key and query dimension. Backbone designed for various pixel level dense prediction tasks. So overall, the Pyramid Vision Transformer is a convolution free transformer backbone uh, that addresses the uh, dense prediction tasks. Now, the original paper uh, takes an RGB image and hard split it into 16 by 16 by 3 um, or 16 by 16 by 3 patches. Each patch will be flattened and mapped uh, to a constant latent vector Z uh, through a trainable projection to the uh, embedding matrix E. These flattened vectors relative to each patch uh, will, will form the um, input sequence and um, they will be packed together and form the input mat matrix X. Um, there is a small detail here. Uh, the authors added a learnable class embedding, uh, which will, inclu will be included in the uh, input matrix X. Thus, the first dimension of, uh, of, the, of our input matrix X will be N plus one, or a number of uh, patches N plus one, uh, and one is the uh, class embedding rather than uh, uh, N. So the size of each flattened patch will um, patch vector will be the number of pixels of each patch. That is uh, across all of the three channels. That is sixteen times sixteen times three, and the total will be like seven hundred and sixty-eight. This will represent the second dimension of our input matrix X. So now we have the matrix X will be projected to the embedded matrix E. So the first dimension of E or the number of rows of the, the of this matrix will be the second dimension of x, that is 768. And then the second dimension of e uh, will be the actual uh, dimension of the vector that we want to, um, to get to, that is d. Uh, d is the uh, dimension of the, uh, that latent vector. And d is actually um, set priorly by the dimension, uh, by the vision transformer variant we choose, that is, if we choose Bayes, um, D will be 768, if we choose la um, large, um, it will be 1024, and if it's huge, it will be uh, 1280. So the positional embedding matrix uh, should follow the same uh, dimension of the resulting inner product multiplication uh, between X and E in order to be consistent. Uh, that is, it's going to be N plus 1 by D, and um, similar, um, similar goes to Z, which is the, uh, the um, input matrix, um, it will be the same uh, as the positional embedding matrix or the, the, um, um, the results in multiple inner multiplication between X and E, which again, it will be N plus one baby. So now we are at the level, at the level of, the, uh, of this input, the, uh, before the non layer, or the, the input of the uh, transformer encoder. What happens is we are taking the same input matrix Z uh, three times, uh, for the key, query, and value, and after the normalization layer, okay. Uh, notice that in the original paper, or attention is all you need paper, they used to multiply um, these key, query, uh, and value matrices by um, some learnable weight matrices. Um, here we're not doing, I mean, or uh, vision transformer paper, we're not, uh, we're not doing uh, that. That is, we're not, we're not adding actual um, weight matrices, all right. And um, so that being said, we are conserving the actual input matrix uh, dimension Z, uh, which is going to be n plus one uh, uh, by D. n plus one 
Uh, again, number of touches plus the plus embedding and gives the, um, the dimension of the latent vectors. Um, finally, since the dimension of the latent vector D is set priorly by the chosen model, uh, it is constant through, throughout all the encoder layer, layers, and furthermore, n plus one or uh, n plus one is uh, is conserved throughout all the uh, encoders, uh, and we will uh, we will explain that later. So now we are at the level of the key query and value after the uh, known layer of the input matrix Z, again. Uh, with the dimension of uh, n plus uh, 1 um, by d. We will get back to the multi-head attention, uh, why it is multi-head, but we will restrict to a single-head attention, um, I mean the encoder. Uh, if we look closely uh, to the attention operation, we can see that the resultant matrix of this operation has the same dimension as the input matrix Z. Um, and thus the input dimension is conserved after applying the self-attention uh, of the three uh, defined matrices. So um, Q times uh, the key transpose uh, will give us a matrix of n plus, uh, a squared matrix or n plus one squared matrix, and then we softmax it. Um, that means we apply the softmax on each element of this squared matrix, and then we uh, multiply it by D, and then we will get um, n plus a matrix that is n plus one squared times a matrix which is D, uh, n plus one uh, times D, and then the overall matrix will be n plus one uh, uh, by uh, D. Um, and the, that n plus one ma um, uh, squared matrix is actually uh, the purpose of the whole transformer or the uh, attention layer. Um, that will actually emphasize on each, uh, on each um, uh, component of the uh, value matrix, or and value again is the um, uh, input matrix, I mean, is similar to the input matrix. So after after applying the attention, uh, we will uh, we will get a matrix that is um, that has the same dimension as the input uh, n plus one uh, by D. Thus, um, thus we have conserved the dimension of the input after applying the uh, self attention layer. Now, now there is the um, skip connection, uh, and in order to add two matrices. Again, um, these two matrices need to be the, um, need to have the same dimension. And again, even after um, applying that skip connection, we were still preserving the um, same dimension. Now we are at the level of the uh, multi-layer perception. Uh, this will be applied uh, to each position separately and uh, identically. And in order to conserve the dimension, the input of and the output of the multi-layer uh, perception are identical. Uh, are like the, the uh, original paper chose. I mean, they chose to, to to have an identical two layers in order to preserve the same dimension. And the inner layer has a bigger dimension. Again, it's dependent also on the um, transformer variant. And you can refer back to the uh, uh, table by uh, Dozovitsky and all to see um, for the large base and the huge. Uh, variants how um, how much they they chosen for the uh, inner uh, inner layers of the MLP layer uh, multi layer perception. <clears throat> Again, the skip connection we have the skip connection uh, which reinforces the information flow, and we should have the same dimensions, and we are um, adding them up the matrices. So, as a conclusion, we started with uh, an input matrix D with a dimension of n plus one by D. Uh, split it into identical key query value matrices, apply the multi-head attention layer, and or, or I mean here in this case, I uh, let's say like the single head attention, and pass it through a multi-layer perception layer, and we ended up with a matrix with a dimension of n plus 1 by D. So what do we get um, from this? So what we get from this is the input of the transformer layer is identical to the output. And thus, no matter how many layers of encoders we are using, we are still conserving the dimension of our input, and the actual complexity of our problem is set by uh, these two parameters, n, the number of patches, and d, uh, the dimension of, the, uh, of our latent vector uh, that we, we can set priorly. So, uh, final note about the multi-head attention or the parallel attention layers. Uh, since we are concatenating these heads, and since we are conserving our dimensionality, or we aim to, to conserve the dimensionality, 
eQuery and values by the um, um, what we do is we simply reduce the dimensionality of um, of our model um, and the key queries and values will be uh, divided by the number of heads and we and then by through concatenation we retrieve back our dimension um, through um, our dimension so as a conclusion we understand the that the skeleton of our vision transformer has common a common or structure here we can observe the dimensionality uh, preservation um, our, our dimensional dimensional preservation uh, through I mean throughout the transformer blocks so this is powerful in terms of preserving the dimension over multiple layers also the dimension of the problem is controlled through only two parameters the DNA however this particular configuration presented some limitations and this is the key motivation behind um, our finally our uh, PVT uh, paper or pyramid vision transformer as they record mostly on improving the structure so in this paper, the authors argued how they can reshape the input and output of the transformer in coder layers to match the general architecture used by standard CNN, uh, such as VGG and ResNet, and for sure, uh, without introducing any CNN layers. Furthermore, they have discussed the limitation of adopting, adopting common or uh, structure or the um, vision transformer um, structure, such as restriction to only classi uh, classification um, Problems and this is one only uh, one problem uh, of the vision transformer, and how it fails um, to be directly adapted to pixel level dense predictions problems such as segmentation. So the key motivation behind PVT um, were of I mean from one hand the limitations of the vision transformer, where we have low resolutions outputs and high computational and memory costs, uh, the coarse image patches. Uh, since we are dividing images uh, with a large uh, patch size, uh, restriction only to a classification problems, and the challenge, it's challenging to be directly adapted to pixel level dense predictions. And the second motivation is the, this, these kind of um, architectures um, is rarely studied. So PVT uh, is a fine grained, in, um, uses fine grained uh, images as input that it, for example 4x4 four four, uh, per patch uh, this this uh, I mean the less the model to learn high re resolution representation a progressive shrinking pyramid uh, which reduces the sequence length of the transformer and reduces the computational consumption and then adapt and they adopted a spatial reduction extension uh, SRA they call it SRA layer to, a, to further reduce the uh, resource cost to learn high resolution feature maps and it's flexible to learn multi-scale and high resolution feature maps. Now let's further understand the proposed architecture. So we start by an RGB image. We hard split it into very small patches. Um, this obviously will increase the number of patches which will increase the input sequence and thus increase the computational cost which if we have done this in the vision transformer model, it will either take forever to run or we face many problems. However, the authors propose this, this spatial reduction layer uh, for computing the inner product uh, between the key and query matrices. Uh, the output of each transformer layer will be the feature map we are inputting to the um, uh, following layer. So the idea is to reduce these feature maps. Um, so the, uh, we uh, we do this. I mean, we do we do the same thing over uh, blocks, and then we get the feature pyramid F1, F2, F3, F4, uh, which progressively uh, shrinks from four strides to um, thirty-two strides. So let's discuss this special uh, spatial reduction. So similar to uh, multi-head attention um, (MHA), um, our SR, uh, our I mean this. Um, SRA or the spatial uh, reduction um, attention also receives a query and, uh, and key, a, a key uh, and a value D as input and outputs a refined feature. So the difference is that uh, SRA will reduce the spatial uh, scale of K and D before the attention operation uh, as shown uh, which largely reduces the computation and uh, memory overhead. So the key observations from uh, this PVT um, transformer um, 
PVT can be trained on dense partitions of the image, like various vision transformer tasks without convolutions, uh, object detection, um, for example, object detection, cementing, and this, uh, instance segmentation, uh, which achieves high output resolution, which is important for dense predictions. Secondly, PVT units are used for image level prediction as well as pixel level dense predictions. And finally, reduction of large feature, uh, feature map computation, which progressive, uh, which introduces progressive shrinking pyramid that reduces the dimensionality of our uh, layers. Thank you for your attention.